What is going on everybody? I hope you're doing well. We are back with another AI video. We are back on AIvideo.com. That is an easy one to remember here. Now the team over there has been crushing it as of late. They've been dropping more updates that I want to dive into today. We are talking new models like Google VO2, Minimax TV camera, and a feature that spins videos from a single frame. So no matter if you're a marketer, business owner, or you just love playing around with AI, this platform's got you covered. So make sure you start by heading on over to AIvideo.com. The link is gonna be in the description as always, and just come on over to the top right and click on the sign in. Let's go ahead and do that. Upon signing in, you're gonna get a hundred free credits to begin with here, if this is your first time making a brand new account. Okay, so we have dropped a few videos on AIvideo.com in the past, so definitely recommend to check those out in those videos i prompt a bunch of different videos and we do a deep dive on the editor as well so let's have a look at an existing project here so when you sign in you're going to immediately be on the projects and then when you go ahead and actually make a video you just want to come on over to the little icon here and click on edit here so let's go ahead and do that it's going to open up the editor panel here and this is where a lot of the magic actually happens here this is where we can actually see piece by piece how our video Video came together here. Speaking of my video, let's have a look at my creation here. So we can see all the different prompts here. If I hover my mouse over here, I click here. Now this is the image that I actually used as a reference point, going for a pyramid, kind of a cyberpunk kind of a theme here, just having some fun here. And if I hover my mouse over here, I can click on some images that went into my video. And when I do that, I can actually see the prompt. I can see the model in the bottom left here. And we can just kind of scroll down here. And if I click on this one here, this one is actually a video piece. So we can see the model that went into it, the prompt, we can see how long it is. We have the ability to really go in here and fine tune everything here. Now, if I come on over to the bottom right, you can see a little video editor playhead. So I can actually go ahead and edit my video right in the playhead here. So let's say I wanna take this scene and I wanna bring it to the front. And let's say I wanna take this scene and put it over here. I can just drag and drop and there we go. I have my video has been edited right here in the platform. Now, if I actually don't like a scene, I can just go ahead and hit delete and I can actually delete things. Then I can just kind of tighten up my video from there. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and bring that back. So if I just come on over to the left hand side here and I go ahead and click on this right here, I get a bunch of options in terms of the different outputs that I'm looking for here. Maybe I want to add some more video, maybe an image, maybe an image to video or an upscale or even an avatar. This is where we can really add to our video and add some different prompts and we can actually do it all right here in the editor here, which is amazing, amazing stuff. So let's go ahead and start with a video prompt here. So let's go ahead and click on video. I want to try the Google VO2. So this is one of the newer models at AIvideo.com is leveraging here. So I want to go ahead and try this one out. Now it does cost 300 credits. It is an expensive model, but it is a really, really quality model here. Let's go ahead and click that one here. So just keeping the same overall theme here, I'm going to go with a very simple prompt. So a blend of Egyptian pyramids and then a cyberpunk style as well. And I'm going to go ahead and hit generate here. Let's go ahead and click that. All right. So here is our new video here. Let's have a look. So this is like a futuristic kind of pyramid style here. I see a city in the bottom right here. This is a really cool look. So I kept the prompt quite simple here. I can even come on over to my playhead here. So let's go ahead and hover our playhead just over to the second part here, this little second clip here. And I can even delete this clip right here. And then I can take my new video and I can just pop it right into the editor here. This is the beauty of AIvideo.com, right? You can really go into the editor and make all these little adjustments. You can really fine tune your video exactly how you want it. Now the prompt I gave was quite vague. So obviously we have a very different style going on here. So if we just go ahead and click our video,
It's kind of jumping around between different themes. So I think it's a really cool look. So I'm going to come on over to the left hand side here and we're going to click on image to video. Let's go ahead and click that. And I'm going to go ahead and find the Minimax director. It's right here. Let's go ahead and click this right here. This is a really cool Minimax director allows you to get those really smooth drone like shots with your creation. So, so we have this image right here and I just went ahead and just downloaded the image. So I have it downloaded. So we found our image. So we're going to go ahead and take that image and add a smooth camera effect. So let's go with this one here. So let's go with a soft and smooth push inward toward pyramid. And we have our image already actually uploaded here. Let's go ahead and hit generate. All right, so this was the exact kind of look I was going for. I just wanted a subtle zoom in towards the pyramid and then just keeping everything else relatively the same. Uh, I'm really happy with the look here. It's super smooth. I do like the little subtle effects that they did here. So, so let's just jump over to my playhead here. So I'm going to come on over to this guy right here. So this was uh, the main image that was used for this video. So I can just go ahead. Let's say I want to just go ahead and delete this. Let's just go ahead and take our new clip. We're going to take it, drag and drop right like that. Okay, we're gonna move this over and we're just gonna move this over here, move this over here. And let's just quickly take a look at our playhead here. There you have it. So we took one of our actual clips. So we took that original image there and we just completely changed the whole camera movement, the whole look and feel. So that really just goes to show the level of customization you can make with your prompts, with your outputs to just fine tune everything. So that is amazing, amazing stuff here. All right, so for the next one here, we're gonna generate a video from an image here. So I just have my initial image selected here. So this was the main image that I used as a foundation to actually make my video. Uh, so I'm just gonna come over to my image on the left hand side and right click and I'm gonna go ahead and hit generate video from image. So when I do that, it just goes ahead and it fills out all the settings here. So let's have a look at our creation here. So we just went ahead and said a subtle futuristic theme with a consistent look here. So this is our initial image here. Let's go ahead and find our new video. It's right here. Let's have a look. Okay, this is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. I just wanted to bring a little bit of life to the image. So this is the exact look that I was going for. So this is a super easy way to take an image and bring it to life. All right, so there it is today. So I only scratched the surface today with AIvideos.com new features and their built-in models. When it comes to customization, the built-in editor within AIvideo.com is honestly unmatched. There's a ton of ways to really fine tune your creations to your heart's content. So definitely recommend you give it a go. Be sure to leverage the free trial and good luck with your creations. And if you use code KINGYAI at checkout, you'll get 20% off for an entire year.